Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Rail Fight. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Well, last night was the presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And I gotta be honest, I'm 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 a little hungover. I drank. My friends, myself, we streamed for five hours. Before show, a uh, during, and an after, and we were all dumbfounded, astonished at what we had seen. We knew what we thought we were going to see, and it wasn't any of that at all, not really. And the thing that I guess surprised us, but didn't really surprise us, is um, how well CNN did. What a what a high bar CNN did with the debate with Donald Trump and Joe Biden. They were right down the middle. This ABC nonsense. This ABC network. They, um, holy cow, it was, it was a mob. It was a, it was, it was like a, a mugging. ABC and Kamala, they mugged Donald Trump. It was three on one. It was, it was, I, I would suspect it's the same thing that the Haitians do to the geese in Springfield, Ohio. I am personally, I am, I'm shocked. I'm I'm a little sad about it as well. I mean, there's a lot of coping, and we'll talk about some of the coping. Um, but there is a lot of coping from conservatives. A lot of conservatives like Donald Trump won that. Yeah, I don't think he did. I was most surprised by a C-SPAN poll. That suggested that uh, it was like 60 some odd percent of C-SPAN, which that's not political. That's supposed to be as neutral as neutral gets. It was like 60 some odd percent said Donald Trump won that. And I'm like, oh, heavens, that's crazy. But CNN said it was Kamala, but it was like Fox News said it was Trump. It was it was um, like two entire different worlds out there viewing the same thing, coming back with Wholly different results. Donald Trump was um, emotional, but not in the good way. Um, he seemed rattled. I mean, he got he was getting mugged by three people, so I'm not surprised that he was a little rattled. He fell into traps. I don't know. He 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 just he wasn't he 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 didn't seem prepared. He, he seemed like he showed up expecting the same level of professionalism that CNN dared to give him. And like he wasn't prepared for the mugging. And I mean, I guess I guess you can say what you want about CNN now, but they're they're not the worst. They've been the worst for a long time. But right now they're not. The worst is ABC. Those those moderators did um, a horrible job. We have some of the cope is is um, Kamala had uh, some very interesting earrings, some big old pearls that looped underneath, and they kind of look exactly like um, like Nova twos or or whatever. Let's see if there's a better picture. Yeah. Here, her earrings and how they loop underneath and these N the Nova twos, they're uh, their audio earrings. And so many people were suggesting that her speech was always just a second or two delayed because she was being fed lines. And I don't I don't know if if that I mean, this might be a bridge too far. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not, uh, you know. If, it's, if it, it is true, I mean, it's very clever. Dirty pool, for sure. But I just, I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. 
Um, one thing, I guess while we're sort of brushing past the conspiracy part of it, so we're going to get back into the main part of it, is um, she didn't do a lot of, a lot of um, stammering and searching for words. As I talk to you now, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what the next sentence of my mouth is going to be. So I'm literally formulating the thoughts as I, as I go. And so sometimes those thoughts aren't as fast as what they need to be. Sometimes often because of my ADHD, my, my mouth runs a lot faster than my brain does. And so sometimes there's a, almost like a disjointedness in my speech. So, you know, my, my, my thoughts, my what I'm saying is is real. It's genuine. It's it's not like being fed to me. I haven't. I don't have a script. I don't have um, whatever. Right. Both Kamala. She didn't stammer for words. She didn't. She didn't cackle. She laughed one time, but she didn't inappropriately cackle. I mean, there was a few times that Donald Trump, you know, nailed her pretty good. No cackle, nothing, and just a big, stupid smile. No cackle, and so that that reminded me, like her personality was like stripped away, and she was just down with the facts and the mission. That reminded me of of when when I take my ADHD medication, Vyvanse. Some of you might take it. Some of you might know somebody who takes Adderall. Maybe you take Adderall. But the experience I have is it almost like strips me of my personality. I'm not fun. I'm not exciting. I don't make jokes. I don't laugh at anything. It's almost like I, I don't have a sense of humor. I'm just very, very serious and down to business. A, like a, like a task-completing, heat-seeking missile. And that's what she was like. So... Not too long into this, I was kind of looking at her, and I, I, I almost felt like they gave her Joe Biden's stash. They gave her some of that. I don't think Donald Trump was ready for that. I think he was, he was prepared for the drunk Kamala. I, I thought this bitch was going to be drunk, going to have a box of wine, but no, she was, she was focused, laser focused on uh, Vyvanse or Adderall or something like that. Or at least that's my opinion. Maybe I'm crazy, but it takes one to know one, and I know what I saw. So let's get back to this right here. All the debate questions and issues ABC moderators did not push Kamala Harris on as Donald Trump slams three against one affair. Right. Again. So it was basically the format. And Megyn Kelly, oh heavens to Betsy, she, she was using a ton of profanity after the fact. And a lot of people pointed out that uh, it was a very simple formula for this debate. It was, Donald Trump, you're a piece of shit. You did shit thing. Tell us about how you feel about shit thing. And do you regret being such a piece of shit? So Donald Trump would answer in the best way that he could, defending himself or doubling down or however it was, because it was a very focused question. And then when it was Kamala's turn to respond, it was, Kamala, tell us about Donald Trump's shit thing. What do you feel about his shit thing? Wasn't it shitty? That's what it was. The whole thing. Donald Trump. You're, uh, you're, you're the villain of J6. Isn't that awful? Tell us how you regret J6. Kamala. Wasn't J6 awful? Tell us about how he's the villain. Every question, everything was just, was, it was that format. It was crazy. There was no journalism. There was no, there was no anything that was semblance of respectable from ABC. ABC even made Kamala's podium shorter so she would look in the wide shot so she would look 
like she was as tall as Donald Trump. They did very, very few wide shots. So they didn't, so you wouldn't be able to figure it out. But also, here's another thing. And on our um, debate live stream, we had Chris of Morning Mayhem. Very sultry, very handsome fella. And uh, I mean, everyone check out his channel. Uh, find him at My Morning Mayhem, I believe. Um, he's a, he's an award movie, he's, he's an, he's an award winning movie producer on, on his website. It's Laurel's up the wazoo. And I was, I was telling him, I'm like, something feels like, and this was in the very beginning, something feels wrong. I was like, I'm drawn to Kamala. Why am I drawn to her? It's and I'm and I'm like remembering from like was it 2016 or whatever when um CNN changed the the color correction on Trump's camera so he was like bright orange and gross and was it Hillary was like perfect and they didn't really show them together very often and it's because you know they they changed it you could tell that the bl the blue backgrounds were different. And so I kept thinking about that. And so Kamala seemed like she was bright and vibrant. Donald Trump looked very sunken into the background. It was very, very dark. And I'm pointing these out. And then he's like, yeah, as a, as a movie producer, I, it, it does look like this, that Kamala has, has a brighter light. A light that's like up here, kind of like shine down on her, and 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 the lights in the back are like darker, like pulling her forward from the the background, like she's an angel stepping out of the fucking darkness. And Donald Trump, he has a dimmer light, or or his lights are placed differently, so he looks kind of dark. He's not he's not like backlit from the from the background, so he sings in like some creature in the dark. And I like, that's dirty pool. Like the length ABC went to. It is so disgusting. So the moderators of Tuesday's debate uh, have been accused of being biased and only fact-checking Donald Trump while letting Kamala Harris go unchecked. And that is fact-checked true. That's 100% what happened. Right-wing pundits and social media users say ABC's moderator David Muir and uh, Lindsey Davis repeatedly fact-checked the former president while letting Harris off the hook on several issues, including her positions on fracking, the economy, and Afghanistan. One in particular that really sort of stands out is with David Muir himself. They talked about gun control. Donald Trump was like, this bitch is going to steal your fucking guns. She's going to go after them. To which Kamala was like, um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Because I am a gun owner and I love guns. And then David Muir was like, oh, yeah, okay, I accept that answer. That's great. Which is wild. You would think he would stand up and go, hey, whoa, hey, listen, you talked to me not that long ago. And, and I asked you, are you going to steal everyone's guns? And you said yes. He's got firsthand experience. With her gun grabbing ways. And he just let it go. It was fun. It's, it's so absolutely egregious. Meanwhile, Trump was fact checked on several issues, including abortion, Obamacare, the J6 riots, and the unfounded claim that migrants have been eating pets in. Springfield. It's only unfounded. It's only unfounded because the uh, politicians in Springfield haven't said that it's true. It doesn't matter that we have police body cam footage, a police call of, of a woman eating a cat in Springfield. It doesn't matter that there's Facebook posts and Instagram posts of women saying that their pets have been abducted. One woman saw her cat hanging in a fucking tree. It doesn't matter that, you know, 
there's YouTubers in uh, Springfield uh, filming it and reporting on it every single day. It doesn't matter that there's photographs and videos of uh, Haitians holding geese, like dead geese. It doesn't matter that children are watching these birds being savagely attacked and killed in public. It doesn't matter that all of this exists. But because the officials of, of the town said, yeah, we don't, we don't have evidence of that. Well, I mean, like, what evidence? It, apparently, evidence is they need to literally see their dog being butchered is what the evidence apparently is required. For them but so just based on that oh yeah the uh, the officials say it's not happening therefore all of it's a lie i mean that's bullshit trump shortly after he left the stage in philadelphia sent out a message on his social media platform i thought that was my best debate ever especially since it was three on one i think that's um I don't know, man. His last debate against Joe Biden literally sunk a president. It sunk an entire presidency. That was his best debate ever. Where is that? Yeah, you beat it to death. Where is that kind of stuff? The former president also called into Fox and Friends on Wednesday and slammed ABC for fact-checking his claims in real time while not doing the same for VP Harris. And it wasn't even fact-checking. Fact-checking takes some time. This was just like, no, you're wrong. No, that's not true. The, the fact-checkers were actually wrong about a bunch of stuff. Like, we, we know there's um, that govern, former Governor Northrum or whatever talked about, you know, if, uh, if a woman delivers a baby. That's supposed to be aborted. Like if, if the baby survives the abortion and it's born. They'll deliver the baby and keep it comfortable and then consult what to do with it. That's fact. There's video of it. Like they're like, no, not true. Bitch, it's fucking true. It's gross. It was three to one. It was rigged. It was a rigged deal. I assumed it would be because when you looked at the fact they were correcting everything, not correcting with her, Trump said. Journalist Abigail Schreier said the moderators didn't fact Kamala Harris on Project 25. The moderators didn't fact check Kamala on IVF. They just fact checked Trump. A campaign account pointed out that Harris wasn't telling the truth as Trump had adopted a more progressive line on IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. He wants more babies. Everyone gets the baby. He wants all the, all, all, all the women to have babies, including that childless Taylor Swift. Um, he declared that he would make the expensive procedure free for Americans. Does he want have more babies, import less criminal illegal aliens? You know what I mean? Kamala is lying again. President Trump has said he wants to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies, supporting IVF in every state. Muir said Trump uh, claimed falsely that immigrants were eating pets in the town of Springfield, Ohio. But Harris was not fact-checked by either during the debate. <clears throat> Kamala also brought up the uh, the fine people hoax. And that's been debunked for like seven years now. That's been debunked. Even Snopes got with the fucking program. It's debunked. And they're like, yo, yeah, we accept that. We accept that as true. Trump Jr. added the moderators didn't fact check Kamala when she lied about changing her position on fracking. The moderators didn't fact check Kamala when she repeatedly lied about President Trump's positions. Megyn Kelly, as I said earlier, shared several posts accusing the moderators of being obviously against Trump, saying ABC should be ashamed. 
podcaster wrote, these moderators are a disgraceful fa- failure. And this is one of the most biased, unfair debates I have ever seen. Shame on you, ABC. Kelly added, the pile on against Trump is so bad and so obvious this will backfire. She continued, OMG, more fact checking from ABC. This is the worst anchor pile on I've ever seen is three against one. Opinions on how ABC handled the latest debate on Tuesday were, in a large sense, a Rorschach test on how supporters of both sides felt about it. Um, Because the left was like, oh my God, best debate ever. This is the best ever. This is how you do it. This is how you moderate against Trump. So, MSNBC commentator Chris Hayes sent a message on X that the moderators were doing an excellent job only to be answered by conservative commentator Ben Shapiro, who said, this is how you know they're complete shit. Follow, and this is, this is an interesting thing. Following the debate, Harris said she would like to debate the former president again before the November election. And it's kind of interesting why that is. As I said in the beginning, Liberals think Kamala won. Conservatives either feel Kamala won or Trump won. It's kind of a a messy thing. C-SPAN suggested Trump barely won. (coughs) But most sort of personalities commentators or whatever feel that Trump lost this. It didn't. Like here, for example, um, it's a Fox poll. 92% uh, of Fox viewers said Trump won. So that's, that's just, that is an example. But the, the thing here that sort of matters is this right here. Before the debate, this is a, a CNN. Who would uh, better handle the economy? 37% said uh, Kamala Harris before the debate. 35% said Kamala Harris after. She lost 2%. Trump gained 2%. So even though Kamala won that, and it's kind of like, oh, I forget the presidents, but it's kind of like, was it Reagan and JFK? Is that that correct? I don't know. Comment below. Who the... um, who the presidents were. It was filmed and it was heard on radio. And the people who watched it, I know it was JFK. I don't I don't know the 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 Republican in that. Maybe it was Reagan. I don't know. But the people who watched it said JFK won. The people who heard it on the radio said the Republican won. Since everybody watched this, people are saying that Kamala won because her lighting was better. She looked better. Like it was just, it was this weird, it was trickery. It was screen trickery. But yeah, that's the thing. So, um, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, the, like CNN and, um, other networks, they had panels of undecideds or independents watching along, and then they interviewed them afterwards. And these independents were like, yeah, you know what? We like Donald Trump because inherently life was better under Donald Trump. He is the current administration and life is bad now. Life won't get better. Like She's trying to say she's going to fix the problems that she's caused. We can't take that risk. Maybe she can. Maybe she can't. We can't risk it because our children won't have food. So David Muir and ABC called disgrace for recurring feature of Harris-Trump debate. 
And that feature was not fact-checking Kamala Harris. So this is a wholly different article about it. It's just people seem to be um, prominent in uh, everyone's uh, psyche here. A former White House press press secretary, um, Ari Flesher, wrote on social media, ABC is making a huge mistake trying to fact check this live. They're only proving how biased they are. Harris fabricated an attack on Trump over IVF. ABC sat there and said nothing. Like, hopefully, people see this. Hopefully, people see how um, how messed up it is. And then we have Barstool's Dave Portnoy gives his a verdict on Donald Trump's performance versus Kamala Harris in tag team presidential debate, which is um, some people like Dave Portnoy, some people um, hate him. I sometimes I can take he's a take him or leave him kind of guy, but he was he was all about um, that Trump's a badass. He took a bullet in the face. He's going to win this thing. And now he's like, well, Trump's not doing so good. It's three against one. It's, it's, it's like a mugging, but he's not doing so good. He says, I don't think this is going uh, so well for Trump so far at all. Probably doesn't help that it's a tag team match, but yeah, not great. So even like Portnoy sees what's going on. Portnoy also posted, have you met Putin? Which was one of the questions to Kamala. Simple question. No answer, no clarification from moderators. Before saying the debate was not going well for Trump, Portnoy said, shouldn't the moderator cut her off and say the an- uh, and say answer the question, is the economy better off or not? Answer it. Conservative commentators and Portnoy alike have blamed the ABC moderators for their live fact-checking of Trump. Leaning some to believe that it was unfair. Yeah, and then uh, it's it was interesting that the the mics were supposed to be off, right? There was one instance in there. Kamala actually got to interrupt Donald Trump with a with a mic turned on, and everyone was like, "Whoa, mics are supposed to be turned off. What's going on here? This is crazy. This really is unfair." So, um, we don't we don't know how how far down the unfairness goes um some of it's just conservatives coping sure absolutely like the whole being fed the lines with the fancy pearl earrings um you're saying that's that's cope these 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 ones here which i mean she she was wearing like this guy's like you're busted i knew Kamala was wearing an earpiece, and here it is. Like, people, like, like, really sought this out. This is a Kickstarter thing. We don't even know if this is active or real yet or not. But, I don't know. Um, um, then, then, Taylor Swift comes out and says, I love Kamala Harris. I want her to protect IVF. He's like, bitch, you didn't even, you don't even know what's going on. Donald Trump is the IVF king here. So that was a coordinated thing, but we'll talk about that on a, on on a different video or something like that. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. That debate was a fucking disaster for everybody involved. I got drunk as shit and I'm a little hungover right now. Um, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the the next video. Peace. Peace.